Okay. I think we're good to go to call the meeting to order. Fantastic. Uh, thanks everyone who is watching this uh, public session, the Open JS Foundation Board meeting, April 21st, 2023 at 8.53 a.m. Pacific time. This meeting is now called to order. All right, welcome everyone. It's April 21st, let's just jump right in. Uh, just quick overview of our agenda. Uh, we'll uh, welcome some familiar faces to our board. Uh, we'll have a CPC update, a standards working group update. Uh, Kylie will update us on marketing and events. So let's jump right in. Uh, so uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to our new uh, board for 2023. Uh, congratulations, we had our board members reelected. Uh, well, Dan uh, Cousineau, our gold, uh, Abby for silver from GitHub, Paula Paul um, at Nearform, and then Sarah Chips was uh, also reelected from our cross project council as uh, the rep um, for that. So, uh, congratulations, everyone. It's great to see you all again. All right. Let's just jump right in. CPC update, Mateo, Sarah. And uh, is the slides, sorry, I lost the slides. Okay, here we go. So uh, a few, uh, there were a few things on the, on the CPC updates. The first one is that uh, we have reelected Joe Seppi uh, uh, for as the CPC uh, chairperson it is, I think there's a typo on the uh, on the on the slide by the way it's uh, 1p and 1P. Uh, yeah and uh, um congratulations okay it's great and then we are working on a couple of proposals to simplify the cpc board uh, representation currently it's a little bit convoluted so i will just say that it probably needs to be a little bit more streamlined so uh, I think we are all in agreement on that on the CPC. Uh, we are debating on hey, how that would require both uh, uh, probably uh, both a change on the charter of the foundation as well as some some stuff on the bylaws of the uh, uh, CPC itself. So it's probably a little bit of take a little bit of time to get everything shipped and wrapped up. But things are moving uh, are moving very well. Uh, also, there was some um, uh, really, really uh, uh, got enthusiastic feedback from the Webpack community on the uh, on the fact that we were able to provide code spaces, GitHub code spaces for them, for for all the people that um, uh, wanted to contribute to Webpack. So, and the response has been fantastic. So, I'm very uh, that there's a very very positive answer uh, answer here. And uh, uh, of course, uh, not not twenty ship this week, so it was a massive hit. So I just wanted to uh, to report it up. So um, that's it. Um, I think that's it. There was nothing. Uh, I think it's split a lot of stuff. So yeah, it's good. Great. Yeah, lots of uh, busy busy uh, important work happening in the CPC. So and great attendance as well. Uh, under Joe's leadership and, and team. So uh, it's good to see. All right, next up, standards working group. Uh, jump right in. Jory Burson um, continues to chair our standards working group as an OpenJS alum, but now the vice president of the standards, uh, our vice president of standards at the Linux Foundation. Um, and uh, some of the things that we're still working on um, is a web developer security workshop. Um, it's with W3C, OpenJS, OpenSSF, and OWASP. Uh, Jory and I are both on the program committee panel. And this is something that's less of a conference and more of an interactive workshop. So even if you're an attendee, we're asking for a statement of why you would like to attend because we really want it to be an interactive discussion will be a little over 100 folks that will be hosted at the Microsoft Reactor Space in London. Um, so the, the, the papers are open through April 24th, so if that's something you're interested in, 
Um, you'll find information on our Slack channel, but also on the website itself. Uh, the team continues to work on concise guides. Um, and so the one on resolving, finding and resolving web standards is published. I think the next one is how to have a career. Um, what's a career uh, growth pattern look like for standards? We need to grow the new generation of spec editors. So that's something that's going to be a priority. Um, and um, also up is um, just uh, fine tuning some of the documentation on participation guidelines. Uh, this group uh, sponsors subject matter experts to attend and participate in standards bodies. Uh, we help fund their travel, and in some places we are a paid member, for example, at W3C and ECMA, so that's something that they're working on fine-tuning. Um, and then this last week was pretty fun because we have our JavaScript Landia Awards out. We have some great nominations. The Standards Working Group selects the recipient for that, So, um, and then they send it to our judging committee, so that's pretty great. So. Stay tuned. You'll find out at OpenJS World who those uh, recipients are for our JavaScript Landia. And I think that's it on standards. Unless you have questions. All right. Next up, marketing. Kylie. Hi, everyone. So exciting news. The Open Visualization website is officially launched. Um, you can see a nice preview there on the slide. Big thank you to our designer and developer, Hayden Pleasel. He um, did all of this awesome work for us, um, so we're really happy with it. Um, and thank you to the Open Viz Collaboration Space members for all of their input in order to make all the content really great. Um, so if you want to look at it, um, openvisualization.org um, to check it out. All right, we can hit the next one. All right, so um, Node.js 20 is now available. Um, it was released on Tuesday. Um, really awesome features. The team worked really hard on this one, and we've been loving seeing all of the um, comments and love on social media. So thank you so much for the support, um, and check out Node. No JS20 if you have it already. Okay, we can go to the next one. Um, we have our No JS Next 10 survey out right now. Um, we want your feedback um, in order to shape the next 10 years of Node.js. So you can take it at that link right there. Um, we've also promoted it on our um, Node.js social channels. Um, so make sure you take um, the survey, let us know um, what's important to you. Um, and the deadline for that is April 30th. Um, and then we hope to collect all the results and, and share it um, around OpenJS world. So stay tuned for that. We've had a lot of uh, folks submit that already. So yeah. yeah we're, we're seeing really good response so far. So um, yeah. we hope it keeps up. Okay, so our metrics um, for the OpenJS Twitter um, for March, uh, nine tweets, 58.6. Okay, impressions, um, that's pretty average for us. Um, followers consistent um, and 5.4K profile visits. All this is very um, standard for the, the channel. So, um, and a nice little GIF on the side there for um, JavaScript Landia um, nominations. We did a little um, campaign for that last month too. So that was fun. We can go to the next one. Okay, so some exciting stuff on the Node.js Twitter, and, and I'll have a more exciting update next month, too, once I um, calculate all of the metrics that happen for Node.js 20. But last month, um, 11 tweets, um, tons of impressions, 4.9 um, K new followers, which is really good, um, pretty consistent with what we've been seeing um, over the last couple months. Um, but the handle has now reached over 850,000 followers. We're so excited about that milestone. And since I posted this, we're now also at 851. Um, so yay. <laughs> um, we're growing. Robin and I keep joking. We're on the road to a million. So <laughs> we'll see. It will probably take a little bit longer, but um, we're really happy with all of that. Um, and these are just some of our tweets that we did in March. Um, lots of little updates about the website. Um, there was um, a couple of new releases as well. So good stuff. 
Okay, so LinkedIn, um, this is also pretty standard um, for OpenJS um, 3.9K post impressions, which is um, pretty good, 80 new followers. Um, so we're seeing kind of just a stable um, growth on LinkedIn. Next one. Um, good stuff on the node. Um, JS LinkedIn last month, post impressions um, way up from February, which is awesome. And then also our follower count was up from February too. So LinkedIn on node has just been growing really large lately, which is awesome. Um, as you'll remember, we we kind of re um, started re um, vamping the page a few months ago, um, late last year. It was not in use, and now we are um, getting a lot of use out of it. And um, so it's great to see all the followers grow on the LinkedIn. And Mastodon, obviously a newer channel for us, but things are looking good. We're now at 1.4K followers on um, Node.js. So that is 2,000 more followers than last month. Um, love to see that. OpenJS is just growing a little bit slowly. So just 85 new followers um, for this past month. Um, Sarah, I see your hands raised. So I'll pause. Hey, um, yeah, do we have any idea who owns the, this, this is just a random question, who owns a JavaScript group on LinkedIn? It seems to be a, a weird hodgepodge. Um, I wondered if we'd ever tried to um, get it or if we know who owns it. I uh, connected with the, there are a couple of independent folks who had that and I had exchanged messages with them maybe a, a long time ago, but not recently. So, but I can, I'll reach out. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. I'll look into it too. I was interested because it's like, they, all they do is post weird trivia questions. And I was like, this isn't CBS. Oh, well, maybe, but that, maybe we're thinking is, yeah. of a different one. Yeah, maybe we're thinking of a different one. A lot of folks were doing more, um, just sort of maybe there's promotional a few, updates. Yeah. 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 I'll take a look. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Sarah. Um, yeah, I think that's it on Mastodon. So we're just like, um, like I mentioned, I think last month we're just mirroring our content from our other handles onto Mastodon. So it's all the same um, and consistent. Um, we're not seeing a ton of engagement on Mastodon, but we get comments here and there. But following is doing really well on Node.js. I think it's one of the higher follower counts um, at the LF, which is amazing. Okay, next one. So events, um, we have some really exciting event updates um, this month. OpenJS world is quickly approaching. I think we're about two weeks out, which is terrifying and exciting, um, but uh, it's still time to register. Um, our schedule and speakers are live. We're just finishing um, the final touches on, on the lineup, um, but Vancouver, Canada co-located with Open Source Summit. Um, we still have a code to save 20%, um, OSSNA 23 OpenJS um, for you to save a little bit on your registration. Um, and then we also are having the OpenJS Collaborator Summit on May 9th, the day before, um, also at the Vancouver Convention Center. Um, so we have um, the schedule and speakers all picked out um, and registration still open for that. Um, so it'll be a good time. Um, so we hope to see you there. Um, we'll be making some blog posts throughout the week, social posts, and then um, we'll have some videos up on YouTube um, in case you miss it as well. Registration numbers for the summit are really high, yeah. like almost like the maximum number that we thought absolute max that we would get. So that's pretty cool. All right, we can go to the next one. And surprise, part two, OpenJS World. Um, I mentioned it before, but we're doing another OpenJS World in Spain, um, also co-located with Open Source Summit EU. The CFP is still open for that, um, only about a week and a half or so left, um, May 2nd. So um, submit your CFP as soon as you can. Um, registration is open for that as well. We're doing a collaborator summit um, there. Um, the details will come soon. We're still kind of finalizing 
the date on that and, and what it looks like, um, but we'll be sure to update everybody once we finalize those details. Yeah. Um, just quick, we had a question on the board meeting. Um, ben, you have that confirmed on that Tuesday late afternoon as well as the dinner? Yep, that's correct. Um, Three o'clock. Three o'clock, yeah, it's um, three to five Pacific time on Tuesday. Um, I'll double check the invites and everyone's on it. And um, I'll talk to Robin about who should be on the invite for dinner. Uh, the dinner is scheduled um, for 545 um, and it's walking distance. Obviously everyone on the board. Andy, are you attending or you, you'll still be out? I'm sorry, say that again, please. Will you be in Vancouver, Andy? Uh, I hadn't planned to be. Uh, I don't generally uh, cover uh, meetings in person. Okay, no problem. But I can certainly dial in. Okay, maybe late depending on where you are, but we'll uh, we'll offline on that. Okay. Okay, thanks. Next. Um, and this one's also a surprise, OpenJS World Part 3. Um, so we've just started um, confirming uh, OpenJS World in China. Um, so exciting. Um, again, co-located with Open Source Summit China. So we're kind of just following them around um, the world um, to do our OpenJS World. Um, so we have just learned about our involvement here, so we don't have a ton of details, but we do want you to save the date. Um, I believe this is the week after um, OpenJS World in Spain, um, so just a heads up on that, we're going back to back, um, and we're hoping to do a collaborator summit um, there as well, but we are still working on those details, but we wanted to get it on everyone's calendars, so we're really excited. Um, to have an OpenJS world in China this year. Because so we want to circle the globe in an airplane, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Um, backing up a second, I'm seeing chats that um, we may have some conflicts on our board meeting. Um, okay. Oh, you're hosting. Oh, got it. Just for the dinner part, Abby. Okay, got it. And I see Mateo is going to be speaking at GraphQL conference, so won't be in Spain. We come to Europe, Mateo. Then I come and then I go to San Francisco, which is makes no. It's, it's so so bizarre, but uh, I, I couldn't say no to to Jory and and and, and Lee. GraphQL and, is pretty cool. I know. Uh, They're pretty awesome. I couldn't say no, so I I was. I was in a very tight spot here. I could not duplicate myself. So, all right. Cool. Great. Well, thanks, everyone. Uh, we had a, a lot of wonderful things going on. So, we are back. Uh, it looks like hitting the road a lot post COVID. Um, and just happy to have you all participating. Thanks to the community who feeds. Um, um, and it's just doing wonderful things, shipping so much. We're going to start doing more celebrations on those uh, projects as well. And it was great to see all the milestones from lots of folks. Yeah, great. So Sarah Jane, you want to call it? There's no more business to discuss. I now call this meeting to a close. Thank you, everyone. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Uh -huh. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.